get sued for copyright infringement yo what's going on everybody this is the g show special thing we're doing here i'm g1 you know that uh this isn't your typical podcast this is a so a special something that i've been wanting to do for a while and i know my guest also has been wanting to do this for a while who's that guest you may ask it is the man himself gmk goji but we're not gonna call him that we're gonna call him by his real name anthony what's up brother what the fuck's up, G Show, and what the fuck's up, YouTube? I'm doing great, Ray. How are you? I am doing fucking fine, my friend, and I'm glad you're on here, and I'm glad we're finally getting to sit down and have this fucking podcast. We put a little uh, Master of Puppets on just now, but, you know, we have to cut that shit short because... I know, I know. Um, I was, you know, ready to do a monster in the middle of my living room, too. I hear you, sir. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. But, um... So, yeah, we, we're breaking convention here, doing a little something different. We are... I'm going to interview you, basically. That's what I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the topic of this, yeah. in, the topic of this interview is something you brought to my attention, something you wanted to do. And thank you that you came to me and said, "Hey, yo, let's let's get this going." Sure, as shit, we are. So we're going to talk about the life and death of GVA. And for <laughs> all the people out there who are wondering, well, what's GVA? Anthony, could you tell them what GVA is or was? Uh, it was the best Godzilla page in a, ever in existence. That's what a GVA was, also known as Godzilla vs. All on Facebook. That's right. And who started this thing? Well, it, was, it was me, right? When when you came into the, the, the kaiju group we all were in together, and you should have been there because it was supposed to be for admins and everybody who runs pages, and you were just the super fan number one. Yeah, uh, basically, you know, I had... Um, I had a, a, car, a heart condition come up on me, um, and it really changed my life. Uh, this was back in 2012. I was a, I was a strong man. I was a powerlifter. I did some professional wrestling back in the day, and uh, all that came to a screaming halt when this heart condition came up on me after getting pneumonia uh, in 2012. And it completely changed my life around. Uh, could no longer uh, be a strength athlete. Um, uh, I was stuck at home for a long time, um, you know, uh, any work I could get, which was after, you know, some months, um, was very little. So I had nothing but time. And I started spending a lot more of that time on Facebook. And I had, uh, I'd been a big fan of a lot of the Godzilla pages and, uh, you know, to name a few, uh, that was really a big uh, a part of was uh, like the Cosmic Monster because he had these uh, little Godzilla fights every week on Fridays. And um, that was one I really got into. Um, but I, w- I would frequent on a lot of them. We, you know, like your page, the G Show, I'd be on a lot. We'd even talked a few times before we even knew each other. Yep. Um, there was Godzilla memes that came out for a little while. And that, that was... Uh, Definitely a big inspiration for me, uh, which I didn't even know at the time was going to be an inspiration for me. Um, and there's a, a few others that, you know, I definitely would go on a regular basis to go check out, see how they're doing. I became so much of a big fan that there was a there was a group on, on Facebook, a kaiju group on Facebook, that still to, it is a secret group. Uh, I'm not going to mention the name of it. It was just involved admins of Godzilla pages on Facebook specifically. And um, one day, the admin of the Bagan page, he, you know, I got to know him pretty well too, you know, from from a bunch of, you know, being a fan on his page and stuff. He uh, invited me to that group. And I was like, yeah, sure, yeah, I'd love to be a part of another group. And I was really excited. I had no idea. Like, 
all these guys I was interacting with like all the time, like here they were as actual people like, Oh wow. And, um, I was the only one in that group that didn't have my own Godzilla page, but nobody, nobody seemed to mind, you know, it was like, cause that was like the requirement was that you were supposed to have a Godzilla page and you're supposed to have so many likes on your page. Um, but uh, everybody, they all knew me, you know what I mean? Because I was always on their page daily, you know, making all kinds of comments and what have you. You were there, uh, you know. And, uh, you know, some months into it, um, you know, I became a big part of the group. And I forgot who mentioned it at first, and I'm uh, thinking about it. But uh, somebody said, uh, you know, if Anthony had a page, man, he'll, he'll blow all of our pages away. <laughs> <laughs> and him saying that, I was like, "Oh, nah, shut up, man! You know, you don't, you don't mean that." And like three, four other guys like chime in, "Yeah, dude, you should have totally have your own page. Like your, your little couple memes that you made are fucking funny. You got, you got to put them up there." And uh, you know, at first I, I couldn't, I, I didn't know if I could even like take that in. You know, like, oh, well, I couldn't have my own page and do that on a daily basis. Like, wow, that's way too much. But uh, I know you were all aboard for it, you know, one of the guys that were, yeah, you should do it, you know. So then became like kind of, you know, it took me a couple of days. I was really putting it in my head. I was like, I, I can get really serious about this. Maybe I can, you know, because I've always been, you know, really funny. I, I've always had this, you know, streak of comedy about me. But one thing uh, that, that came to my mind right away about Godzilla Page is that none of them, none of them at the time, and this was... 2013, 2014. Yeah. Actually, in 2014 is when I started GBA. Um, oh, excuse me, 20, 20, March 20, yeah, 2014, March. Um, at the time, there were no, absolutely no Godzilla pages that would cuss or do anything sexual in a comedy way. I, I don't mean, you know, like, you know, there's the pervert boards or whatever. Yeah. But there, there, there was no adult oriented Godzilla page whatsoever. And it was one of the few things that really would get on my nerves about the Godzilla pages at the time because there's a there's like a big market there. It's like there, there's a big demographic of uh, of people that that I'm sure would appreciate that kind of you know like dark humor or satire. You know, I, I but I didn't know it at the time. But you know, this was all developing. This is a big feeling. Like you know, these guys they, they don't want to say cuss or uh, they don't want to say fuck shit. You know, cunt bitch nothing like. It, it, it was kind of bothering me. You know, I understand that they would want to cater to some children because, you know, everybody gets into Godzilla when they're kids and stuff like that. But not all of us are still kids. You know, this is a conversation that you and I have had on uh, previous G Show podcasts. Yep. But there, there, there's not enough for, for the adults, you know. And, and it, like I said, it doesn't have to be uh, pervish, but it could still be sexual and funny, you know, and none of this was, was anywhere. I don't think it was anybody on anybody's mind at the time. It definitely wasn't on Facebook. Definitely was not. Definitely not. And, um, so this was an idea that I, I said, I, this is something I need to do this because it's not out there for me. So I'm going to do it for everybody else. So I started toying with a lot of ideas and it still took me a couple of weeks before I actually put GVA together after you guys had mentioned it to me because, I didn't realize how uh, like how big this could be. Like, I thought I'd probably just have like maybe 500 likes on the page or something like that. You know, I didn't think it would ever get to the point that it actually did get to. But uh, after toying with a bunch of ideas, I, I couldn't I couldn't come up with a name. So I was like, you know what? I'm probably going to need some help. So I thought of two people that didn't have a page already. Uh, that I felt had enough Godzilla knowledge to, to give something to the page, tell them my ideas and see what they say about it. And the first, the very first person I thought of was uh, Lindsay, which um, a lot of people know as Kaija. And um, I actually didn't know she was Kaija at the time. She was already on the Cosmic Monster page. Yeah. First um, lady of the G-Show, baby. First lady of the G-Show. <laughs> She was the first lady of GVA, too. Uh, <laughs> but uh, she was the very first person I had on my mind. She also um, runs the Final Gojira page, which started the same day as GVA, surprisingly. Uh, I had no idea that she was uh, planning to start that either. But, um, you know, we, we had a, 
she's one of the few people that when we were in, in, in those like Godzilla fantasy battles, one of very few people that would have as much knowledge as, of me or would be able to contend something that I would say. Because once I said something, a lot of times, unless you're a complete retard, there's no way in saying I was wrong. But she was one of the few people that could hold her own against me. So I respected her very much. And she's half the and, age, brother. That's the crazy part. She's a youngling. That? She's a youngling yeah. when you think about it. She's very young. And I love yeah, her I, I didn't even know. But she was about 15 at the time. Jeez. I had no idea. Um, but I, I respected what she put out in the community. So she was definitely my very first uh, inspiration. So I sent her a, a message. She was a very private person at the time, obviously being 15, which I didn't know. Right. Um, but I sent her a, a message on Messenger and uh, wasn't sure if I was going to get anything back because she, we weren't friends on Facebook at the time and her thing was all super uh, private. Right. And then the other person I, I uh, very much uh, respected for his knowledge and, and had a lot of uh, uh, debates with was uh, Mark uh, Chianchi. Yes. I think that's how you say his last name. Um, Brooklyn. Also, <laughs> Sorry. He was also another uh, very um, routinely on the Cosmic Monster page commenting. And uh, so he was the very, very next person that I, I stepped to next and and uh, sent him a message. And, uh, you know, I basically said the same thing to the both of them. I was like, hey, look, you know, I'm trying to, I'm thinking of starting my own Godzilla page. I have a bunch of ideas. But I'm de- I think I'm, uh, with all the ideas I have, I'm just going to need some help. You know, would you be interested in, in helping me out? Um, Mark Chachi got back to me uh, probably by the end of that day. And I didn't hear anything from Lindsay. So uh, once Mark got back to me, uh, we started, uh, I started telling them all my ideas, hey man, like there's no Godzilla page out there that, that they're not cussing, you know what I mean? And, and I'm really, a, I'm really a funny guy and I like to just say fuck and shit and, and all this, just, it's, it's just me. And, um, and he says, well, you know, what else, what else do you want to do? Everybody else is just putting pictures up there. I'm like, well, you know, I'm really funny and I've been putting these memes together. So I definitely want it to be like some kind of comedy page. But I want to evolve everything, too, you know what I mean? Little bits of Godzilla news and stuff like that. I mean, it's all for fun, you know what I mean? And he was really digging it. So I was like, you know, dude, I um, I got, like, all these ideas. I, I want to have the Godzilla fights and all that, too, you know what I mean? Uh, but I don't have a name for the page. Like, I have, like, all this, like, I, I don't know how to put it together and just collaborate the name. And he's like, hmm. He says, let me think about it, you know, and he's like, he came back to me like about four or five hours later, and uh, he said, "You know, what do you think about Godzilla versus all?" And uh, I was like, "Wow, wow!" You know, I was like, "I was like, dude, that's perfect." <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So what you're telling me? Toying, hold on. What, what was that? So what you're saying? So what you're saying is, you weren't the creator of the name Godzilla no. versus all. This is all Mark. Mark's, Mark's the namer of GV, and I always put that uh, out there. Brooklyn! <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir! I, I mean, I had a couple of names I was toying with, but they didn't seem impactful enough. You know, I was playing with uh, the, 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 the name Godzilla stuff. I, I made a few, um, I put together a few things that said Godzilla stuff on it, but I was like, it's, it's not enough. It's not, it's not totally me, you know? Uh, I thought, hmm. Uh, Godzilla Universe, which I gave that name out uh, uh, later. Um, again, not given that fuck you kind of attitude that I have, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, you know, I was toying with a few things that it was because I, I wanted to evolve everything, you know, and I didn't know. But when he said Godzilla vs. All, man, that, it just fucking clicked. It just snapped into place. You know, that was that was the fit right there. Uh, so, oh, dude, that's perfect. You know, that's, you know, Thank you for that, you know, so, so um, by the time he gave me the, the title, the, the, the name, when he gave the name, I had to start this page now. You know what I mean? The, um, I did it at work. I started, <laughs> it was like five o'clock in the afternoon and I, and I, um, put it all together, put the Facebook pages. Cause at the, at the time I was, I was just doing some security work and, um, you know, you can, you could be on the phone at the time. And, uh, I had plenty of fucking time just to fucking just be on the phone and do the stuff. So, uh, I put the page together. Mark was the first like of the page. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, his baby. Then, uh, you know, I, I went to 
the, that 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 secret group that, that we were a part of, and I was like, "Hey guys, I, I just started that Godzilla versus All page. I was just wondering if you guys can just help me out and, and put a share, dude." You guys blew me up. <laughs> you guys put it out there. And I already had a few memes that I put together on the page within a couple hours, but it was like 100, 200, 300 likes. I was like, oh, my God. You know, it was just like a couple hours that went by. Like, what the fuck? And uh, within, within 24 hours, we had 500 likes. This is at a time where, like, the biggest page was like 3,000, 3,500 between Big and and J- JSDF, yes. those are the two biggest Godzilla pages at the time. I mean, uh, there's that one Godzilla page that's in all caps with exclamation points. That over 100,000? That had been since, like, the start of Facebook, and yep. he really wasn't... Uh, I know the, the the owner of the page, yeah, Ben, too. he's a great guy. Great guy. Um, the, uh, he, he didn't even start that. Like, the page was given to him, and, mm. you know, it went, like, beyond Facebook's years. <laughs> I remember it on being on MySpace and shit. But... Uh, <laughs> Back in like 2007 or 8, I, right? I remember the MySpace, baby. I love MySpace. That's still one of my favorite formatted pages of all time, social media. I love it. But I, I didn't really consider it like a quote-unquote fan page. It seemed like more commercial. You know what I mean? Like the way he would post stuff, the way it was set up, you know, it didn't seem like a fan page. Um, but like as far as fan page, like I said, it was like 3,000 to 3,500 was like the biggest page. Yeah. So something with 500 likes was huge. You know, um, so I had I had that in the first 24 hours. I was like, "Holy shit!" You know, we're on the we're on a roll already. So I just kept my 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 comedy going, and within within a week, we had a thousand likes, and again, huge, huge for the time. And I also noticed within about that week that people were taking the memes that that I put together and just plastering them on their page mm-hmm. and making it seem like. They're the ones that put it together, and I was like, "Wait, wait a minute! That that's mine. Like, that that gives, goes credit to GVA, dude. You couldn't have just press the share button, you know." And and it was getting annoying because it was they were going it fast. They were like spreading all like all these other pages, and with nobody giving me credit. And I think I said that in, in the group, and you're the first one that responded to me. You're like, "What about watermarking or putting some kind of logo or something on there?" I do remember and that. Like, yeah. Yeah, and then um, I was like, well, um, I don't know how to do that yet, so I'll have to figure that out because not a lot of people know about this. I wasn't using a computer. I've never used a computer for anything I did for GBA. Everything was done on mobile. I didn't have a computer. I was you know, just some guy that, you know, I, I just have a lot of fun on my phone. So I figured out a couple of apps that, that were able to, to, to plaster a logo on there. And so I was like, okay, I got to come up with a little uh, GBA kind of um logo to, to plaster on here so uh, i put one together and I, I put a i put these bold so now it's like you know, this <laughs> was a this. gba meme yeah. you know your first and couple of, your first couple you couldn't even see the meme you just seen a fucking logo <laughs> 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 right right uh and you know it went, it went uh, you know some people were like, dude, what the fuck is up with the size of that logo? <laughs> you know, because I'm acting like a fucking a guy from Texas with that big fucking belt. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's my fucking logo. <laughs> so you know, even to this day, like it, it has this reputation of you know plastering these logos because some people feel. It ruins the meme. Yeah, those are, think, the, those are the people who are taking your memes. <laughs> those yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. But I really, I feel like that actually became part of the humor of it. The charm, you know, was having this gigantic logo plastered right in the middle of it. Let, let me just let me just let you know, in all honesty, I believe that was the genesis of Jimmy wrestling. <laughs> because... It was so obnoxious. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> look at this motherfucker here. And I, I mean, it's it's what it is. It's fucking great. But I think that's where I think that's where people's panties started getting, you know, tied into a bunch. <laughs> and uh, as far as the Jimmy wrestling goes, I'll, I'll actually say where that started. There's a friend I had. Right. His name is Car- Carson. Uh, he wasn't really big in the Godzilla community, but he was definitely he was a dinosaur lover. 
and we just got involved in chat just um, actually through the the guy who ran the the secret group we're talking about. He got us in a chat, me, him, and Lindsay, and I think the guy who ran the Bachelor page, all in one chat. And I met him, you know, in this chat way before I started at GBA. But he started throwing these um, wrestling memes at me uh, with the with the gorilla. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, when you, when you look for uh, Russell, your Jimmy's memes uh, on Google, uh-huh. first things that come up are all these gorilla memes. And that's that's where, where it started because they had a whole bunch of them that I had no idea. And um, so the, that's how I started including it into GBA because a lot of people at first didn't like what, a lot of the things I was having to say. Now, I was just being funny. Right. you know. But to them... I was literally shitting on Godzilla for whatever reason they thought or felt. Like, you don't talk about the king like that. I'm like, what? <laughs> he's, a, he's a fictional character. <laughs> he can, I can say whatever the fuck I want. It's America. He's, he's still real to me, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but there, there's so many people that take it super, super serious. And I'm just like, fuck you, dude. It's not even real. You know, <laughs> you know I'm just having fun. You know what I mean? Like... Loosen up your fucking panties a little bit. And so that's where I was like, you know what? I, I'm, I'm wrestling Jimmy, so we're, I'm going to make this a part of a page now. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like I said, that was in a, within a very short time. Like, people, they didn't get my humor. They, they, you know, like I said, I was the first to cuss. I was the first to really make, like, you know, G- Godzilla memes, they, they had some, you know, pretty funny memes, but they weren't offensive. They weren't... Um, they weren't crossing that line. They weren't getting into adult stuff, you know. So, me coming out there like that, like it was like seriously bothering people. <laughs> you know, I I say it to this day. I think GV might have had even like thirty thousand, forty thousand people if the, so many people didn't dislike the page, you know, and leave. <laughs> like we were chasing them off. They were like, get the fuck out of here, you know. Fuck you. This is our page. You know, because that's just how we are. That's who we are. You know what I mean? That's yeah. that's how I am in real life. If you don't like me, fuck you. Go away from me. Why are you bother me? Get out of my space. <laughs> you know, uh, that's why a lot of people think I'm from the West Coast, by the way. I'm just Italian. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that that was the, the start of, uh, of GVA and, and how it really came to, to be. And it started evolving because of the phantom yeah um you know because a lot of the times like the first earlier parts of gba i was basically just getting a, a screen cap of, from a movie and it's like hmm, i can make a little story out of this and i'll do it to something like um there was a part where uh, space godzilla throws Magera across the fucking he just you know pierces him with his tail and throws him and uh I made it look like, you know, like a kid, like, jumping on daddy's lap. Do it again, daddy. Wee! You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's, that's the kind of things I was doing at first with GBA. You were, so, you were, you were, you were playing it very PG. Some of the PG, but 13. it wasn't directed towards the Phantom. Right. You know, I was just, like, making up shit as it went along. But, that, you know, these people started, like, these people. <laughs> there were a lot yeah, of people. Th- that's right. <laughs> Now these people, uh, there were. This is not a, this is not a, this is not a personal uh, subjective thing here. Uh, <laughs> there were a lot of people that, like, I just didn't understand. Like, they took it so serious, completely dead serious. And this basically wasn't the page to do that with. You know what I mean? This wasn't a Godzilla worship page. Yeah. And I think that's that's what a lot of fans are looking for. Um, if that's your thing, fine, cool. That's not here. <laughs> exactly. We're here to have laugh and have fun and, you know, be able to say fucking shit and everything else he couldn't say on all those other fucking pages. Uh, this, this this was that place. This was this was fun time. But, uh, you know, so many people were getting there's Jimmy's Russell. They were, you know, just acting like a plea. They were acting like children in the wrong way. You know, they, 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 they're acting like a spoiled kid who didn't get the cake he wanted or the present he wanted. So they're just stomping their feet. You know, no, no, that's not the way my Godzilla is. So I started making memes that directed toward the Phantom and how idiotic these people are. <laughs> oh, God, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and I should throw you a couple of old ones, uh, you know, how, you know, so you could put them up on, on the screen so people could see this. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> what you should. Doing. Yeah, do that. Send send me some of that shit. Yes, we're going to throw it up. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh. And the funniest thing was, you know, I, I, I put up a meme that was totally directed at them. And they they didn't understand it at all. They, it was totally fucking clueless to, to a lot of the people that saw it this way. That they're like, that's not, that's not even funny. This page isn't even funny. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if it was denial. You know what I mean? They, they just they didn't want to see that that was them. You know, or, or they just have absolutely no sense of humor bone in their body. You know, because I get a lot of that, oh, this page isn't even funny, but it was directed at the people that were usually, you know, sucking Godzilla's cock for, for, for lack of better words. If that's your thing, cool. Uh, but that's what, that wasn't our page. <laughs> well, let me, let me ask you, let me ask you, you, you keep saying hours and we. Um, in the beginning, how many of you were there? Was Mark active on it? Or was it, you know, I know from the jump, you were predominantly the main force behind GVA, and Mark would pepper here and there. I, I remember seeing all of that. But mm-hmm. I say for the first um, two weeks, it was just me and Mark. And a couple weeks later, I heard I heard from Lindsay. Finally, heard back from Lindsay, but she never got my message, and it was because her profile was so private, like she couldn't. I wouldn't accept messages from, from people who weren't already her friends and stuff like that. And, um, I forgot how, how I got in touch with her. Uh, but I was explaining to her how, um, uh, you know, I wanted to do the GVA page and how I really wanted her to be a part of it. You know, I didn't know that, that she was running the final Gojira page, which like I said, opened the same day as the, the GVA page. Thanks for crushing and hearts and feelings, bro. What's that? Thanks for crushing hearts and feelings. Why? Do you thought it was a guy? No, no. I'm saying you you open it the same day, and she has to scrap, and you automatically just get handed the golden fucking spoon. <laughs> I didn't know. I, I didn't. Know, I didn't know she was. She was started. Uh, that was her. I didn't know that 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 she had any ideas or aspirations of having her own page. I didn't even know that she was running the Cosmic Monster. Right. You know. And, but she explained to me that day that I brought it up to her. I was like, well, you know, you want to help me run the GBA page? She's like. You know, I, I am running a couple pages right now. I was like, really? You know, who are you? She goes, I'm Kaija. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and so I was like, oh, so you're running uh, the, the Cosmic Monster. She's like, yeah, I'm running the Final Gajira page too. I was like, what? Because <laughs> I think she only had like, you know, 100 or 150 likes within the, the first week or two or something like that. You know, and like yeah. I said, I had 500 in the first day, you know. Um, I, think, I think the G Show had like, 13, maybe 15 likes the first day. I was open. Of course, they were all family. They were all family. <laughs> uh, me, 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 me and G2 was like, yo, yo, spread the word. Of course, nobody does, right? So it was just family. Like, like my mom was like, you guys are so cute. And I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> well, as I understand it, though, that's one of the reasons why you wouldn't cuss on your page, though, right? Because you, you had family and children there. No, it, 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 listen. Outside of the page, I'm just like you. You know this. I don't give a fuck. Oh, yeah, right. that's me. It was, and it's it's kind of funny because it's exactly like the opposite of what you were doing. It was, uh, originally, the G Show was about Godzilla and Gamera. That, that's the genesis. That's how it came up, right? It, I was Godzilla. G2 was Gamera. That, that's what we was rocking with. That was back in high school. But when we actually started the page... It, it had already blossomed into a lot more because we was always talking geek shit. We was always talking comic book movies, Star Wars, this, that, and the third. And G2 wasn't as much as a kaiju fan as I was. Godzilla is always Uno. Oh, dose. Star Wars number one. But when we started the page, it was kind of like a reflection of our youth. That's why we didn't, like, that's why I would try to stay away from the language. You know what I'm saying? Whereas yeah, when you yeah. came on, you was already, you know, hip deep in, in all these fandom pages. So you was like, oh, they're all the same. It's it's all fucking, everything is white. Nothing is black. It's time to go, con- it's time to go hardcore. And you did. Right. You legitimately flipped the fandom on his head. And, and a, lot of, so, a lot of people don't know that. Now. They have, there's a lot of people, things people say in the fandom that they have no idea started from GBA. Like Godzilla stole your bitch. A lot of the, the, I, you know, there's so many things that started uh, with, with GVA or, or what uh, GVA I mean started that's used in the Phantom now that they have no idea started started at GVA because nobody else was doing this shit. 
Uh, but anyway, uh, Lindsay, so she told me she was, you know, add me a couple of pages, but she said that she would definitely get, you know, at least something once a day for sure, you know, and, you know, at first I, I, I was doing a lot of those comedy memes that I had, or, you know, things that I'd watch on uh, a Godzilla movie for years. I'd be saying, well, why, why is this, you know, like, like the way the guy says, uh, something's wrong. And of course, shouldn't attack his friend. Cause <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was putting all these obvious shit like that, you know, that nobody else was touching on, uh, you know, but Lindsay would put up a piece of artwork or she'll, she'll, she'd put up some other uh, screen cap and hers were getting like 150 fucking likes on those fucking posts and mine were getting like, you know, 25, 30. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I put so much of my heart and soul into this, you know, like. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I wasn't jealous I was just like I didn't get it you know like it, it, it didn't develop enough for at the time you know what I mean people didn't know that that's what uh, a GVA was supposed to be about but uh, I think the logo is actually when we started using the term GVA yeah uh, so because I couldn't put Godzilla logo. versus all and, and put it the size that I wanted it to <laughs> yeah. on the page so she came on and she was she was killing it dude she was doing great you know with the one or two posts she'd do a day uh, it was definitely uh, helping the, the the like factor in, in the page. Then I think she too was starting to see the um, the shift of the way you know the fandom, like the the way that the stupid idiosyncrasies that the fandom does. And she started making some memes. And the funniest thing was, you know, not even knowing that that she was under eighteen at the time. It's the fact that she was a girl. <laughs> and uh, and such a conservative, you know, like proper person. It's like when she would make a meme, a GVA really style meme. It was like almost funnier to me because I knew the source of where it was coming from. That it, it's like it wasn't even like her. It was like the darkest parts of her. That's you know, just coming out. That's that the past is daughter. That's what that. <laughs> yeah, that's the past is daughter right there. Oh no, here we go. So to me, it became, you know, on the inside, it was like twice as funny as like somebody else who was looking at it and already laughing. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so in the beginning, and the we were the original three. It was me, Mark, and then a week or two later, a couple of weeks later, was was Lindsay. Um, some time had passed, and I think um, you know because I, I wanted GBA to be busy. That was always the thing for me. I wanted it to be like. I didn't think I could keep up the pace with like an every hour thing. That's what I was but doing I, back then. But yeah, I didn't, but I had the luxury of not having to create. I was just like, oh, this is a cool image. Drop it. Oh, there's a cool image. Drop it. Oh, there's some news that broke. Drop it. You right. were legitly creating. And I didn't even know I had that kind of creative outlet. Like this, this became my creative outlet because like I said, I, my whole world changed. I, I went from being an athlete and my whole focus being on the gym to nothing. Yeah. So I had nothing but time, and it was all these you know things with uh, Godzilla, like from different pages. I'm like, I just would get ideas that would just spark, and I'd I'd put it out, I put it out, put it out, and I was I was still going at that high pace. I was because I figured you know a lot of pages they probably have more likes if they were just more active. They give like one or two posts a day, you know. I was I was always checking my Facebook constantly just to seeing like who was going to put up what. You know, but when they were going at these low paces, like, dude, come on. Like, you know, I didn't realize how much hard work it was until I was actually doing it. But I was one of very few people able to put that at that, that pace. Yeah. And I didn't even know I had it in me at the time. So I'd say close to a year had gone by. Uh, well, not quite. Maybe it was like we started in uh, March 23rd. And I'd say probably by December. Um I hired two more guys. One was uh, Jeremy. He ran a, a Godzilla page. And the other one was Darius. He was an artist. Cool. And he didn't have any pages. But he he uh, drew a picture of one of our GVA-created uh, characters. One, um, a lot of, we made up a lot of characters. But one of the first like got known one was uh, Dat Pint Gigan. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that pip guy. Yeah, he was just a pip, and he was pipping out Megalon and uh, <laughs> and Jaguar. 
<laughs> These are the type of things that were not on Facebook at all. There was nothing anywhere close. <laughs> Uh, but he drew a picture, and it was a really fucking badass picture of that pimp guy guy because that was his favorite character. And uh, so I said, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll throw him in the mix too. You know, it looks like he can draw for us and just bring a new aspect of, uh, to GVA. And he was actually the admin that uh, coined the phrase, um, Godzilla, so your bitch. <laughs> Which uh, I changed because I, you know, I was a, a lot into um, those Dolan comics at the time. You know what I'm talking about? It was like that Donald Duck, uh, but it was like scribbly uh, pictures, yeah. and he would never he would never talk or spell right. Yes. <laughs> uh, I would say, you know, how would Dolan say this? And he would say, uh, "Bish, not bitch." Was a B I S H, <laughs> and that bothered people. When I put I put Mech Godzilla stole your bitch because it had a Mech Godzilla around a couple girls, and people were like, "It's bitch." <laughs> <laughs> like, that was like, it. You know, it's it's bitch. Yeah. It's bitch. <laughs> that was it, huh? That was like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, like, like I said, like, the, the, my whole m- me versus the Phantom is what DVA actually was became. But we weren't doing a lot of videos yet. Lindsay did a couple for us. Um, one of which happened on my wedding day, which is hilarious. But it was an idea of uh, my from watching Son of Godzilla. And, like, right after he was born, he was doing this stroking thing with his hand. I was like, Show why us. is Minya jacking off? <laughs> <laughs> and and then while, I'm, while I was actually getting married uh, at the time, Lindsay finally put the whole video together. And it was the funniest goddamn video, man. If you guys can find it, uh, uh, Fapping Minya. On, on, it might be on YouTube. I'm not sure. But if it's not, I'm going to see if, if she will let me allow, allow me to put it on YouTube. And I'm it sure came, uh, while I was in the middle of my wedding, I saw I'm dying laughing. My wife is mad as hell at me for, for dying so hard and not paying attention to the wedding. And I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> it's probably why the, it's probably why the wedding didn't last. But anyway. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it, but that was what's on my mind. <laughs> it's like, Godzilla ruined my life. <laughs> hey, Godzilla ruined my marriage. Are you <laughs> <laughs> was that in the choir or something like that? Yeah, that was her. <laughs> I should replace a picture of her on there, but nobody would get it. <laughs> God damn. I, we will now. <laughs> God damn, you a crazy motherfucker. Uh, I hired these two admins, um, and they were there for a little while, a few months. And they did, they definitely did their part, man. They, they, they definitely were helping. They were outputting a lot. And, uh, you know... We, we have this GVA chat, you know, just for the admins, you know, on Messenger, just, you know, what are we going to talk about? What ideas we had, you know, if we could help each other out or send each other pictures and what can we do with this and, and all kinds of stuff. One day I got to a conversation and again, nobody knew much about Lindsay at the time. She had a very, very private uh, profile, but it seemed like Darius and, and Jeremy, they were um, really, uh, intrigued with her at the time and asking her a bunch of questions this one day and um it turned out like i guess one of them i think darius might, might have been both said something kind of sexual at her ah. and later in that conversation she revealed that she was only like 16 jesus yeah and i got to, and it was a real bad situation so she she felt that, you know, it was possibly, she, she wasn't even sure. She was like, is this sexual harassment? Like, you know, it, it was, it was becoming a real ugly like, situation. So, I mean, talking to Mark, um, uh, was like, he's like, dude, like, he's like, I, I say, get, uh, I'm thinking get rid of everybody. He's like, dude, I, I can't think of anything else. Like we can't just get rid of them. You know, like it, we, we were just trying to do damage control. Right. right. You know, like, um, that was like a really scary thing. I didn't want to lose anybody. I really didn't. And to this day, I, I miss all of them that, you know, that, that aren't there. But I, I, I got rid of the, uh, the all three at the time just to, to, like I said, for damage control. I don't want anything to get any worse than a, any others. Um, and I, I made it as friendly as possible. You know what I mean? Like I, I explained, I sent the, the same long message to all three of them, um, you know, that, that, you know, things were just getting out of hand and it was inappropriate. You know, we're, we're just going to take a safe step back right now. You know what I mean? Thank you for everything you've done. Because, you know, 
even my wife at the time, she was like, dude, if she's 16 years old, man, like, you don't need the cops come knocking on your door for, <laughs> you know what I mean, for anything like that. Right. You know, I had a, I had a uh, stepdaughter through her that was 15 at the time. Jeez. You know what I mean? So it was like, oh, dude, you know, like it was, it got kind of weird. And it's very, it, it hits close to home. It does. It does, you know. Um, and uh, I had to, I, I needed a, a, an admin, at least at least one or two to replace the three I lost. You know what I mean? We were five of us. And I'm down to two again. And Mark, at that time, by the time of the five of us were going, it was really four of us because Mark was having some issues at work and um, said, uh, you know, he was kind of getting burnt out of the, some of the fandom. So he was just there as, you know, kind of like a consultant in right. the background. And still to this day, <laughs> that's that's who he is. He never really made a full comeback. <laughs> uh, but it's fine. I appreciate him for, for contributing everything he's done, especially the name of GBA. Brooklyn! <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it was down to basically just me. And I hired a guy from the Jet Jaguar page. It was kind of a small page. I remember that. His name was, yeah, his name was Bob. And Bob was really cool. Um, he had a different style of humor. It was definitely satire. Yep. Um, but it was like kind of out there, like way off the wall satire. Like yes. you really had to get what he was saying. Like he was kind of like this abstract he- funny. You know what I mean? Like it's funny, but you, if you didn't get it, like it way over your head. Like you had to be like a smart guy to figure it out. <laughs> I know. I remember and, that shit. Yep. And not the nerdy smart. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is the really clever smart. You know. So he was he was definitely a help, but it was just kind of like I said, just kind of me and him. So I needed, I definitely needed some more um, admins. Darius and Jeremy, both. Um, I don't want to say we're begging to come back, but they were talking to me like, hey, you know, what, what, do you think we could come back? You know, like each of them were saying something like that. And, you know, it had been so, you know, a couple months or something, and I definitely could use the help, you know, and they, they did uh, contribute a lot back at those times. Uh, and I, I did bring them back, but I just felt bad that, you know, I guess they had both apologized to Lindsay outside of that situation, too. That, that was all squashed already. Right. But um, I would have always loved to have Lindsay back. But it just never, you know, I felt like, I wasn't sure if she was comfortable enough to come back, you know, cause I did talk to her that telling her that, you know, I did hire these guys back. You know, I just, I hope you're okay with it still. She's yeah, she was fine, but I wasn't sure if she had any interest on in coming back to GBA, but I always uh, let her know that, you know, she's definitely missed, you know, all, all that she's uh, contributed. But I, like I said, I was never sure if she wanted to come back. So she never t- uh, came back, but I've always, uh, referred to her as like she was still a part of GVA. You know, we had other like little tribute things that would always involve something that, you know, said Kaija or Final Gojira. And it was like kind of us for a little while. And then I added um, Zach Bagan. <laughs> <laughs> and Zach is definitely one of those people that likes to step on toes. Oh, he definitely <laughs> does. <laughs> That's how me and Zach, got, I mean, we got along. You know what I mean? Was, uh, I don't, I, I, go, I, I, I cross the line, but I don't get carried away. Right. He'll cross the line and get carried away. <laughs> 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 you know, at, at first it, it was really funny. You know what I mean? But there's a point now where, like, even I ignore him. You know? <laughs> listen, I, listen I, I love the dude. I really do. And he also is the one that brought me into secret group. But there are some times, man, and on the, on the personal page, forget the fandom shit, on the personal shit, you, you put something up, and he makes a really slick comment, and the only way to answer that is with a slicker comment. And you get to shut it down, <laughs> bring it down, buddy, bring it down. I'm a lot older you than you. Up. Yeah, I'm a lot older than you. I, okay, bring it down, you know, but I love him to death. Yeah, if Zach is a psycho. <laughs> Bag in, you fucking nut. <laughs> and not too long after Bagan came uh, Zilla Jr., Andrew. Gam Gams. <laughs> That's <laughs> my name named later to Gam Gams. That's right. I yeah, love bro. him. I love him. Then, not too far after him, was uh, Constash. Ooh, Constash was a big drama, drama thing. I mean, he be, he was Conzilla on the page. Okay, okay, uh, yeah. Con- I was like, we, uh, Connor. His name was Connor. 
Okay. And there was um, there was a point where he was growing those one of those badass mustaches, so he became Constache. And then he <laughs> made a page uh, with everybody having his mustache on. <laughs> so, I actually so remember was, something like that. So I do remember. And I was sitting oh, there like, hilarious. what? What is this? I'm, I'm, fuck this page. <laughs> But let me tell you something. Like Darius wasn't posting a lot, and and neither was Jeremy. That's why I, I hired them three. And with the three of them, man, like that was that was like heyday of GVA. That was yeah. like GVA up in everybody's shit. Yes, like we were really pissing people off. We were a solid team at that point. <laughs> Those were the days. Right, that's 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 pretty much when I mean the the likes just started. By the thousands, like fuck hundreds, by the thousands. Right. Jesus. I mean, some of that, some of that big push for for GB happened when uh, Ben's page, that big, huge Godzilla page, shared us. Yeah. We we started changing the game at that point because, like I said, the biggest page at that time was about thirty five hundred likes. He shared us, and by that weekend, we went from uh, about twenty five hundred likes to five thousand. That weekend. And it was a huge, huge jump, literally like doubling our, our, our likes. And we put J, JSDF on their ass. We put Bacon on their ass. You know what I mean? Like, people were like, what the fuck? And, um, and then that, that weekend, you know, I, I was always big on sharing other pages, regardless if they're big or small. Yep. If you're part of the community and we're cool, I'm going to share the fuck out of you. You used to do that for and, me all the time. And I, I yeah. always respect that. So I got maybe um, three or four likes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> three or four yeah. wouldn't that get you over like a big hump <laughs> yeah a big hump three four no nah, I'm not lying you actually did you, we we, uh, we crushed some fucking numbers thanks to you so I, I do appreciate that <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that, that weekend I think um, I shared Godzilla memes and they blew up and they blew up they actually passed us for a little bit and then and then it was kind of like a little battle back and forth like uh, mine had more his had more uh, but the difference between Godzilla memes and I, one was, of course, uh, you know, I was cussing and, 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 and putting all that adult humor in. Uh, but two, GBA was a lot more active than Godzilla memes. Yep. Th- there'd be times where Godzilla uh, memes admin, it was only one or two of them. He wouldn't be even online for like five months, six months. Like nobody even knew like what happened to him. And it's even right this second as we're talking about it, that's going on right now with his profile. Absolutely true. Because <laughs> I know who you're talking about. Absolutely true. So I think, I mean, he probably would have more than GVA if uh, he was more active. I, I don't know. I mean, it's just all, you know, speculation. But by the time, uh, we, like I said, we had the team of uh, Zach, Andrew, and, and Connor, we started blowing the fuck up. And there's, it was even before the, the Uber post. And the Uber post was a total another story. Um, but we'll get there. <laughs> um, let me tell you about the drama with Connor. <laughs> Getting Connor was hilarious <laughs> to me. To me, the, to the inside GVA, this is a hilarious thing. There was two other pages: the King Ghidorah page oh, and the Godzilla, Godzilla and Kaiju page. Oh god! And they would they would challenge me to a page versus page battle. I I, I didn't even know that they were. The, and behind the scenes, these guys were really had it out for GBA. They really had some. They, I, they definitely been along longer than GBA. Uh, but it, I guess they were jealous of the popularity GBA was getting. I, a lot but, of pages, I can see that. Yes. You know, they'll they'll probably end up hearing this, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to keep it as nice as possible. Don't shout their names out. But I'm gonna keep it as real as possible. Too. Yeah, keep it as real as possible. <laughs> you just say. Uh, Exilian one and Exilian two. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck uh, it, the, go for the bro. very first uh, page versus page battle. GVA won and everything was friendly. I, I won it against the Godzilla Kaiju page. Everything was friendly. Everything was cool. Left it. Let, let, let it be. Basically, the the fans decided who you know the 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 pages would pick which um, Kaiju were going to fight. And the fans would decide who was going to win. Like I said, GBA won the first one. The second one came around was um, also Godzilla and Kaiju page. But it was like a team battle or something like that. And it seemed like there was some heat behind it. Um, I didn't, 
I, I didn't even look at it that way. You know what I mean? Like, I, I could feel the heat is what I'm saying. I could feel there was some heat behind it, but I didn't look at it. The, like, this was all supposed to be for fun. You know what I mean? Like, why, why would somebody take this so personal? Then when the third page versus page battle happened, it was Godzilla versus King Ghidorah page, where the admin of the Godzilla and Kaiju page was on the King Ghidorah page. And they, they were, like, full out challenged me. This was, like, you know, in the... Uh, that one uh, challenge that Bruce Lee got in Dragon the Bruce Lee story. <laughs> We're gonna fight, you know. <laughs> it's like a big old like we come, yeah, it's gonna be a big fight. Like it was like a big deal. And um it was definitely gonna be like a, a another team battle of two two kaiju versus two kaiju, but this was like the upper echelon of the strongest of the strongest Godzilla kaijus. Uh we're gonna we're gonna all be put together. And like it was, it was a huge thing. Like we got a lot of pages, other people involved in all this. And from the very first battle, GVA won it. These guys were throwing a huge, huge hissy fit. And I was trying to talk calmly to these guys. I was trying to be like, "Hey, dude, look, it's just you know, it's just a little you know, page versus page battle. Like it's no big deal." But these guys are like, no, no, you cheated. You know, everybody just likes GDA. They're just going to vote for GDA. You know, like, they're getting, like, super, like, <laughs> like they, they, they would not accept defeat. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, Jesus Christ. And then the next battle, it was, I think it was, like, a four or five battle thing. So the next battle was, like, really close. They had a team that was probably going to de- demolish me. So... They started, they, they were actually winning on this one, but they were being fucking dicks about it. Well, real they quick, were, real quick, let me ask you. What was the battle? Like, what what was the the topics of the battle? Like, what were you fighting with? Were you doing monster versus monster, or were y'all doing who right, was shit? This is two on two, upper echelon Godzilla type uh, or creatures. You know, it, it wasn't just Godzilla, it was, you know, like a lot of Tohu Kaiju, uh, some of the Ultraman, like some of the upper, upper, you know, Bernie Godzilla and. You know, and Bagan, and you know, uh, Super Godzilla. You know, all the all the top top, you know, things. This was the whole category that we were using for this two versus two battle. And they did this shit because you were doing those uh, the move, the monster fights. Well, they were, they they had uh, some they had monster fights too, right. and I think that was the whole why, why the whole challenge thing happened because they did it first. Uh. The thing was the, the the difference was when GBA had the battles, and now at the time I would consider Cosmic Monster had the best. Um, battles going on yeah but Chasm monster was kind of like uh retiring yeah and uh gda was just getting started uh just with the page itself i didn't do the fights right away because i wanted to have a bigger base to start with so cosmic monster by far and large had the best fights godzilla and kaiju did have um their monster fights but when you looked at it okay because you know facebook is very visual when you looked at it, it was very plain um it just was a, a picture of the of a, a picture of whatever Matt Frank was drawing of this Godzilla or this you know kaiju versus Godzilla whatever it was it was a very plain uh, Matt Frank drawing right with with kind of like a little sometimes they'd have a little tournament bracket above it it was just very black and white real simple so when I was doing my kaiju fights the, on GVA I put effects on there you know fire and lightning and you know like I was. Like fireworks, like it, like it was like exploding in your face when you saw this picture. You're like, oh wow, you know. Mm-hmm. So a lot of more people were getting involved in my kaiju fights, and I think that's where this battle stemmed from because I started saying, "Well, GVA has the best kaiju fights on Facebook," <laughs> they, and these guys wouldn't accept it. <laughs> <laughs> so, see, because not only not only are you the satire page, but you know your shit. You can back right. your fucking shit up. Go ahead, man. That, that, <laughs> <laughs> uh, before the second battle comes around, I'm explaining to these guys because they they were they were like really pissed and they're claiming I was cheating, and I wasn't. And they're like, "Oh, well, they just like GVA, so they're just gonna put pick for GVA." I'm like, "Look, guys, I'm gonna tell you this. This is how I'm beating you, and this is how I'm gonna finish beating you. <laughs> I I I pick you. You know, you give us you give me a pick of whatever monsters in the in this category, right? I'm gonna pick the ones that the fans." like the most the ones that they have a connection to that's the one i'm going to pick even if in a real fight they would totally fucking lose the fans want them so i'll pick them that's how i beat you guys they're like no that's cheating that that's because 
in a real fight, it wouldn't happen. You know, <laughs> like, Jesus. I was like, dude, this isn't a real fight. We're, we're okay. We're not putting this in front of Toho executives. <laughs> I, I said this exactly to that, to them. <laughs> this, 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 this is not in, in front of, you know, the, whoever's running the head of Toho. This is the average everyday fan that we are always in constant contact with. They're like, no, 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 it's bullshit, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, we'll see. So the very next fight was the second fight. Now, they had a team that would totally destroy my team. Right. And they were getting more votes. They were getting some at first. So because of the fact that they came at me the way they did, I went on that secret group of ours. And I said, hey, guys, do me a favor. <laughs> if you would, uh, you know, just go ahead and vote for my guys on, on this team battle or just share it on your page or something like that. And it started getting around. And then, so, so then GVA won the next one. So and wait, wait. So off. what you're saying is you cheated. <laughs> I cheated on that one. <laughs> I, and that's only because they claimed I cheated on the first one. <laughs> Shit, I ain't mad at you, brother. <laughs> So, you know what I mean? Like, it was kind of like my big fuck you behind the scenes of them. They, and they, I think they stopped claiming that I was cheating, but they were just like in, like, I, they couldn't believe it. They were like, there's no fucking way. This guy would demolish this guy. Like, they were getting, like, seriously fucking pissed. And I, I, don't, I don't blame them. You know what I mean? They, I, I, I never fessed up to the cheating up until now. <laughs> Exclusive. But you're welcome. <laughs> every other battle before that, I never cheated. I just did it because I was like, you know what, fuck you guys. If you guys are not gonna take what I have to say and 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 not do it, then I'm just gonna fucking cheat anyway because there's no difference with you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and there, there was no, there was no getting through to these guys that you know what I was doing was legit. You know, and, and they just wouldn't accept it. So. To me, it was like, oh, okay, fuck you. I will then, you know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah. So that one, yeah. You know, I asked, I asked for some help, so um, I got the win on that one. And these guys were fuming. The third battle comes around, and it was like really fucking close. And they almost got the win, and we just somehow won that battle too. So it was like basically three to zero right now. So the fourth one was going to be like the deciding factor. And Connor. Connor was, um, he was a part of the, the, the King Ghidra. Ad. He wasn't part of GVA yet oh, at shit. this point. But um, He jumped ship. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, he jumped ship right before this battle. Okay. That's what it was. That's what he, he, he came to us right before the battle, but he didn't tell him. You know, because I, I liked what he was posting on, on King Ghidra. And, you know, I just hit him up. I was like, hey, dude, I really like what you do over there. You know, would, you know if, if you want, you know, you have a spot over here at, at GVA. So he came over, you know, he didn't even ask them. Um, and, you know, that's not my business. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but I, I didn't have anything against them, you know what I mean? But that had nothing to do with me, you know what I mean? I just liked what he, what he was doing. Um, but he was the one explaining to me uh, before this uh, this third uh, battle uh, tournament happened, tournament, the whole tournament, that these guys fucking hated me completely. They hated everything GVA had to stand for, fuck GVA this and that. Uh, we're going to pass GVA one day with our stories and, uh, you know, whatever it is. I had no idea, no clue that these guys felt this way about me. So this, this battle, like, this is another reason why I, I took that extra step on this one, because I'm going to show you, like, don't fuck with me. <laughs> exactly. you know, if you're going to take it personal, you're going to claim I cheat, you're going to do this and that, okay, then, okay, I will cheat. I'm still not going to let you beat me. <laughs> that's that that's that competitive nature in your heart yeah <laughs> I've always been a you know competitive strong man and powerlifter you know I, I, I don't let people beat me but there's a part of me that's a pro wrestler yep I will uh, I will allow you to put one over on me if we get along so so yeah. <laughs> so 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 yes <laughs> but if, if we're not cool I have no loyalty to you. I I'm not. Gonna, there's no reason for me to put you over whatsoever. Shit, yeah. I'm the best, and that's it. <laughs> that's why we get along so well. We know that. That's I get it. I'm fucking that same fucking dude. Seventeen thousand likes later, I got like eight. Fuck you. <laughs> so the fourth day of the of the competition happens, and this was the day. This this was like 
you know, this was like all out war. And then this was like, there was a bunch of people already right off the bat voting for us. And these guys, like this were, these battles were posted on both pages. These guys would go on the GDA page as them, you know, as their page and anybody that would vote for GDA, they were like, well, why? This guy can beat him this and this and that to every person wow. that voted for GDA. And people people were coming back, dude, fuck you, dude. That's my vote. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Fuck off my shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, God. the whole GDA mentality was in the fans too, you know? <laughs> they were like, fuck you guys. Leave us alone, you know? <laughs> and, it was, and it was hilarious that they were getting so desperate. It was sad. It was such a sad thing to see. Uh, that they had like so little dignity left that they were like begging people to change their vote, wow. and uh, and they didn't. And they, it was another shut up. <laughs> so that was it. That was you did the four games, and that was it. Sweep. It was it. It was over. Wow. And um, then that that same day, like you know, there's a bunch of things behind the scenes. Like Connor was telling me, he was like, you know, th- these guys are saying this and that. So at the end of the competition, uh, this this tournament, Connor. You know, he was playing it cool and telling us everything that he's saying behind the scenes, and and then um, then he basically like in a conversation and said, "Oh, by the way, fuck you, I joined GVA <laughs> after after they lost." You know, completely fucking down to the dirt. <laughs> he fucking kick, kicks them one more time. <laughs> oh shit! And then uh, I don't know they they said something and he said something about their mom was oh my if I remembered it oh my god it was so hilarious, uh, but that's. He, you know, he got kicked out of the King Hydra page, but, you know, technically he was already out, you know what I mean? <laughs> but he was already in GBA in a better place. <laughs> Listen, wow, wow, look, yo, this fucking interview, first off, is fucking phenomenal. I gotta say that. That's one. <laughs> and everything you just said, that battle, because I remember the battle, right? But, like, I, it, the, the behind the scenes is so fucking awesome. Um, and I'm glad you... That's div- the best part of GBA that people don't even see. Right. And I'm glad you divulged that with us. But I will say this. We got to wrap it. We're not done. There needs to be part two. Because that was a perfect bookend to that part of the story. There's a lot more from Connor joining to, one would say, the end of GBA. Not the fall. It never fell. But the end. And that's what one of the things I loved about that. But we're going to get to that in the next one. So this is part one. We have to make this part one because I do have to run. But, <laughs> but nah, listen, seriously, I, we got to continue this. We're going to rock and roll in the next segment. But for right now, brother, hold your thoughts. Will do. We got part two coming in. I'm going to tell you, y'all want to fucking stick around for this shit because part two is going to be even crazier and maybe explosive because we're going to find out why. Why did the best damn Godzilla page on Facebook go away? Yo, Aunt, I love you, brother. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me, brother. Lady G-Show, man.